interactive, the original British Hulk. We just landed here at the St. Lucian International Airport and we're getting ready to go to the Sandals Resort but we are not taking the typical 45 minute or I think it's almost an hour long drive by bus to the Sandals Resort. We are taking a helicopter. Sarah, how many helicopter rides did you get on? Yes, I'm sitting in a hot tub with a pina colada off my right shoulder in the uh, Grand St. Lucian uh, Sandals Resort in the St. Lucia Island. Um, without a doubt, the, the best vacation I've been on in many, many, many years, if not the best vacation period. Um, if you ever come to this, I don't want to say any sandals in general because I haven't been to every sandals, but if you come to this sandals and you are not relaxed there's something wrong with you um, this place is over the top in terms of hospitality and service I mean this is just some of the the backgrounds here I am here in mid-november and there's like I mean there's people here but it's it's this is the time to come because there's not a lot of people here um, at, least it's, at least either that or or the, the resort is so so spread out that, you're not really seeing them. But we checked in here a few days ago and uh, we took a helicopter ride because if you take the car ride from the airport, the main airport over here to the resort, it is about two hours on a bus. Um, or you can take a helicopter ride. The helicopter ride averages about 200 and... I just continue to show you the resort. Probably don't want to look at my mug as I'm talking about this. Um, the uh, helicopter ride is about $250 per person. So if it's a couple, it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. And if you're like, uh, you know, with two couples like we were, it's gonna cost you $1,000. But it saved you a very, a, you know, a very long, windy bus ride. So if you wanna take the helicopter, uh, about $250 if, per person. And uh, we just took it here. We're not gonna take it on the way back. We're gonna try to save a little money, but had a great time. Um, I just can't speak enough about the resort. There are so many things to do here, and I think that we're just scratching the surface of what to do. Anyways, that, I just wanted to touch base with you real fast. We are here in St. Lucia, and um, we're going to pick it up again here soon. I don't know what our next adventure will be. we got a couple things lined up. I don't want to tell you what they're going to be yet because I don't want to tell you what they are and then have them have it not take place. But we got a couple things lined up, and then uh, after that, we're going to leave here on Thursday, which is about four days from now, four or five days from now. We're gonna leave here, and then we're gonna go to Fort Lauderdale, spend a couple days in Fort Lauderdale, and then we're hopping on a Princess cruise ship for 10 days in the Caribbean. So we got lots of adventures coming up. Stay tuned. It's a really beautiful day. I'm drinking a tequila sunrise. These are private bungalows. They've got um, a plunge pool and a larger full-size bathroom. They're like mini homes, basically. Old style cannon. You can uh, walk out over here. We'll walk down here just for a minute. So you walk out where we were just at, and then about a five second, 10 second walk is the dive shop and everything, the water sports. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And this is, um, I'm not sure what this place is called, but this is, um, here's Karen. Um, this is um, 
This is one of the lunch locations they have. This is a, a 10 second walk from where we were just at. That's how close we are to the beach. Um, they serve hamburgers and hot dogs here and pork sandwiches. That's a cruise ship. I don't know what cruise line that is. It's a much smaller ship. That's a cruise ship to pull in. That cruise ship is, does, those passengers do not come over to Sandals. They go off to the right over here to the uh, Pigeon State Park, which is where Karen and I were at the other day. And then of course, and of course you've got beach activities. Karen and I were at in a kayak yesterday. It's another kayak. They've got jet skis and water skis. Some of the things are an additional cost and some of the things are not. Kayaks are all included. Jet skis are an additional cost. Um, snorkel tours are an additional cost. Karen and I are doing that um, tonight and tomorrow. We're going on a night snorkel dive tomorrow. And uh, then we're going on a day snorkel dive. I'm sorry, I got that mixed up. Karen and I are going on a night snorkel dive tonight. And then we are going on a day snorkel tour tomorrow. Uh, the place is not quite open yet. It's only about 9 o'clock, 9.30 in the morning right now. But just a lovely time dive shop Hobie cats Hobie cats no additional charge um, they will give you lessons on how to take the Hobie cats out the beaches here in st. Lucia are not private they are public but only for a couple of feet because obviously there's property here for sandals only for the sandals resort so I don't know exactly how it works but only for the first couple of feet I guess um, is open to the general public, but the general public doesn't come here because they don't really other than a couple feet They really can't come on the property So they basically got the water and about a two three feet strip of land that they can they can they can hang out on But what you've got is if you see this individual here with the um, notepad what he's doing is he is trying to solicit um, residents or customers I should say of sandals to go out and do his company's own excursion kind of like what you would get when you come off of a cruise ship when you, you can sign up when you're on a cruise ship you can sign up for your um, excursions on the ship which is what they highly recommend it's the safest thing to do or when you get to your destination you can get off on the pier the port and they're gonna have people trying to take you out on snorkel rides and swim with dolphins and everything else same thing here they've got a very small strip of land like this guy right here and he is trying to solicit people to go on his company's private excursions go out and jet skis and so forth and things like that but again sandals discourages that there's several signs out here that say no you should actually use the excursion people that they have deemed uh, legitimate and safe and you should go to their excursion desk um, that's gonna be a little bit more pricey these guys are probably gonna be half the cost it's really up to you if you want to take the risk and use some of these guys knock yourself out you want to play it more safe and more cautious just use the excursion desk over here at sandals just to kind of give you a quick overview of what's reserved and what's not reserved. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I'm gonna kind of zoom in on it. There's a cruise ship way out there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but we've had a couple of cruise ships come in, not very big ones. Um, I'm not sure if the harbor's not deep enough or, or what, but we don't have a lot of cruise ships come right to, right to the, at least to this bay, maybe a different part of the island. But this um, cabana right here is reserved there's actually a sign that says reserved but anyways um this is reserved this is probably going to cost you oh, i don't know probably close to 200 dollars um a day you get it all day long they come out and they bring you food and lunch and everything else like that um it's very nice this is your own private little cabana you can close it up and make it like a little house or a tent or something like that um but you don't really need this at all because just off to the left here is first come first serve basis and you, if you get here early enough you've got your own private cabana stuff something like this again in Phoenix Arizona or um, Las Vegas or something like that even just something like this is gonna cost you money we were at an uh, Indian casino in uh, one of the outskirts of Phoenix very nice hotel and they had, um, you know, just to get like an umbrella was was like, a, you know, a, a, was you had to get reserved. This is where we did the night snorkel trip last night. Just on the other side of these bungalows, on the other side of the bungalows, is where we started off. And we swam under the pier here. That is actually a chapel. You can get married right there if you want. I'm not sure if they hold Sunday morning services there or not. But you can get um, married there. They call it a chapel. So maybe they do. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, you swim under the pier. And then you come along here, all along the beach. And then uh, you swim on the other side of, 
uh, this location. A lot of times they have weddings there at that little uh, building. And then you swim, and then that's where your night snorkel trip is. They have all these little chairs set along. Oh, right there. They have all these little chairs set along. You can get your photograph taken, a kind of like a king and queen type throne chair. So again, these white um, hooded beach areas um, where the chairs are at are first come, first serve. These more thatched roof ones here, here, and I think even this one are all reserved. <clears throat> but all of these other ones here, set out going down with these each individual thatched, uh, thatched roofs here with these chairs, all first come, first serve basis. And there's a lot of them. And especially if you're gonna come here in November where there's not a lot of people, um, you're gonna have no problem. We've had no problem getting something to cover up in the sun. The sun's not really oppressive either here. I mean, I would tell you, maybe it's because of the, you know, the periodic overcast clouds or the humidity, humidity in the air or whatever, but the, the sun is not as oppressive here as you're gonna find in Arizona. Um, I mean, you could definitely get a, a sunburn if you're not careful. You need to have sunscreen on and everything else, but it's just not a, as oppressive, it seems like, as it is in the deserts of, uh, of Southwest United States. So Phil and I booked the Sandals Grand St. Lucian Hotel for seven days, starting today, the 7th of November. Uh, we're staying for seven days um, we booked the club level room, um, lucky enough to spend um, a wonderful uh, retirement party and retirement vacation, uh, celebrating his 34 years of law enforcement career. And here's our room. It is a, a beautiful room. You're first greeted down the hallway and to our right is our bathroom. It is a double sink with granite sinks. There are two, a uh, well-lit mirror. It is a very large bathroom with uh, a toilet area, beautiful fixtures, European um, walk-in shower with a rain head, shower head, um, gosh, it's just huge, and uh, pebble flooring and full surround shower tile. It's just stunning, something you'd see in a very high end um, house. Certainly nicer than any of my houses. <laughs> And then our closet on the side comes with complimentary um, safe, obviously, and um, two um, robes. Which is nice because I couldn't pack mine because I overpacked. Mm. And then it comes with a breakfast bar. Um, everything in sandals, because it's an all inclusive, is complimentary. Um, I believe there are snacks down here. Oh, there's a refrigerator. What the heck is going on here? Is there? What's in there? Oh, there are. It's stocked with juices, sodas, waters, and I believe they are all complimentary. It is a king size four poster bed, ginormous, our fan, I think it's huge. And the furnishing is not anything that you would see in a regular hotel room. They are high quality, what looks to be very high quality um, wood furnishings, hard, hardwood carved furnishings. Um, with the rug and the travertine tile all laid out really nicely. Um, the sitting area um, also done nicely. Just a nice place to sit and relax if you don't want to lay in bed and if you don't want, if you don't want to lay in bed and sit and watch t TV because then there's the massive 
what I would think is probably a 50 inch TV, 55 inch TV, like you're gonna watch TV in St. Lucia, who knew? Um, but while that's all fun and great and the room is beautiful, then you get out to this pretty large balcony and you get that view, which was a long day of travel, which is why we come that night. But then you get the bay, you get the pool, and then you just get all that mountain and those clouds and the resort and what you would see. That logo sandals. Certainly a beautiful, beautiful resort. The rooms are spectacular and the staff are pretty darn amazing so far. Of course, we've only been here about two and a half hours. So there's that. We'll catch you on the good side. Listen, you two enjoy and have the best time. It was so nice to talk to you. Yes, you too. Oh my gosh, you're going to be gone for a long time. We just got here yesterday. This is the uh, that mountain peak. Is, I mean, it's still so green and lush. This has got to be one of the most greenest, luscious tropical islands in all the Caribbean. This is our view from the, uh, from the beach, or from the ocean, into the beach. section out here is they do um, massages out here and they also do weddings and you can't quite see it but there's a white building well you can see it a little bit I'm not sure, but there's a white building over there. that's actually a wedding chapel you can do wedding chapels and, or weddings inside there as well um, all over the island of St. Lucia Martinique is actually visible from some portion of the island here if you go on one of the ridges but we're real close to Martinique if anyone's curious about where um, St. Lucia is. It's actually located in the South Caribbean. From Miami, it's almost a three-hour plane flight on a 737, so it's not anywhere quick. It's almost That's almost as long as it took Karen and I to fly from Phoenix to Miami. So it's a good, it's a good distance across the ocean. We are probably much, much closer to Venezuela and Colombia than we are to the United States. Um, but we are near the islands of Barbados, if you guys know where that is. We are near Martinique. This is obviously St. Lucia. And a few other islands, I'm probably going to get the names wrong, so I'm not even going to attempt to obliterate it and show everybody how stupid I am in geography. But we are, again, the South Caribbean, and uh, weather is great, um, water is great, and we are just having a wonderful time.